Welcome back everyone to my tutorial series on Wii hacking and Mario Kart Wii. Um, today we're going to be learning about this new hack called Revolution, which basically lets you take a retail copy of your game and re just not replace, but place in five, uh, in this case, tracks to play instead of the ones on the disc. It tr this tricks it into and it tricks the game into thinking uh, and replacing a track with the one on your SD card. So um, let's get started here. So you'll need Revolution, and the links are in the description. So there's a few things about that. Um, if you have a 3.1 3 to 4.0 Wii, basically below 4.2, version, uh, you can, there's a certain download you need, and I'll label that in the description, but if you have below 4.2, or above 4.2, um, you'll need a certain download, um, that works into your SD menu on the home main screen, and then there's, uh, another download, of course, which is for people with, without homebrew, and then there's one with the, with the homebrew, so you do not need the homebrew channel if you want to do this. So now, um, we we'll, and then the next thing you'll need is the SD card, which will store the Revolution hack and all the custom tracks you want to load into the game. Um, and then on the SD card, we'll want to load all any custom courses you've downloaded through SES Modifier Server or anywhere on the internet, or just custom courses or text track courses. So, and then the beauty of it, Mario, using your Mario Kart Wii retail disc, which just says it all. It's a um, it just uses it and uses your retail discs to load the game and it and places in the tracks for that session you load it you load the game. So yes, uh, that's all you need. And let's get started here. So I'm going to start with the non homebrew channel people. So what we have here is um, the non what the download on the side. When you get it downloaded, um, you will have this. And what we now I'm going to insert my SD card, and then we'll get that started here. So I'll just go over here. And now what you're going to do is just the folders match up here in the root, so you just go into them and just drag and top. And since I've already copied this over, it's asking me to replace. Once it does that, let's go to the next one, this Mario Kart Wii folder, you just drag in the root of the SD card here, and it will uh, copy over, and that's all you need to do for that, and that's where all your custom tracks go. Um, private, you need to go in here, and then do Wii in the title, and then do the same on this folder. This, this, drag, drop, copy, boom, and then you have your revolution folder, which is a prefer empty preference file, I believe, and then we'll just uh, copy on over here, yes, and boom. Now these other files are required to get it actually booted for when you use it, when you put it in your Wii. So you just have to copy these over to the root of the SD card. I already have them here as well, but once you do that, boom. So this is what you need. So now let's uh, I'll move on to the Wii and we'll show you what to do on there. Alright, so we're back here on the Wii and once you load it here, now if you were on 4.2 or higher there'd be an SD icon right here. You just click that and it would load, it would ask you do you want to load boot.dual slash elf and you'd say yes and it would take you to revolution. But I'm going to do it, since I'm on 3.2, I'm going to do it the old fashioned way here. So we're going to go Wii, Channels, and then click SD card, and it's going to ask you to the load boot.elf, and you just say yes, otherwise you will not get any further. And it will ask you to do this, and, to, and it's required to run Revolution, so you're just going to say yes to update to iOS 37 and it should initialize my network here and we'll just take a moment to install and 
And boom, success. All right, now what we need to do is make sure you have Mario Kart Wii in the Wii. All right, so I'm going to go and insert that now. And it should read it in a moment here. All right, and here we are. We our tracks listed. on the right and the originals on the left the new tracks for the replacements on the right so with this in mind we are we know that we can just load these tracks so um, this the install button will install a channel a short basically you know a little shortcut on your main Wii menu to get to this program. And I'm going to go ahead and install that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, installed. Now, if you're satisfied with this, you can just hit load. I believe we included some extra stuff over there. Yep, just some extra tracks and then some intro and other custom things. So we can just go ahead and click launch. <laughs> and I saw this and this was quite guru if you ask me. So now we load the game. And this just this looks exa identical to the one in his video. So what we'll do, we'll just go and load a track and uh, see what it, see how it works. And boom, instantly, we see that all the tracks that are replaced are automatically named to the new one. All their uh, their pictures aren't updated, and eh, they should get to work on that. But but as you see, as we see in a second, it's going to work, and boom, here we are on Mushroom Peaks, one of Mr. Bean's most famous custom courses. Unfortunately, no custom music, but that's. Uh, they'll probably get that working someday. But yes, I think that this uh, concludes the uh, um, well, actually, and just make sure if you want to add courses to this, to add courses to this, all you need to do is um, go into that MKWE folder on the root of your SD card and uh, just copy them in there, and boom. You c it will replace the tracks, and you will now be playing custom without even hacking your Wii. So I hope I hope this portion of the tutorial helps people without the homebrew channel. I will be doing another one on the with people with the homebrew channel, so stay tuned for that as well, and we'll get you started. See you later, guys.